Hello, you guys. Welcome and welcome back to another collective reading. Okay. We're going to see what the messages are and what you need to know. Keep in mind that this is a collective reading. It is general. So if something does not belong in your life, don't take it. Ugh. I did not like that shuffle. Someone may be trying to project something onto your life that does not belong to you. They're trying to make you like not be able to see clearly, but there's going to be light shining in. Cause I, I mean, for real, there is going to be light shining in on this situation. Something just ain't sitting right. Something just may not be sitting right with you and somebody. This camera gonna be crooked, y'all, but it's irking me because it feel like it ain't sitting right. You can't let it go. We just gonna do what needs to be done, okay? So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit that like button if you have not done so already, okay? Put a crystal ball in the comments if the reading is resonating and whatever else you may want to add. Okay, for the collective guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, Father, Mother, God, for the people watching now or in the future, angel numbers. Okay, so if you're insecure about anything that's being hidden from you, you're going to have some type of confirmation that comes through angel numbers. 111, 222, 333, 444, and so on. Okay, these angel numbers are going to let you know what is being hidden from you that you may be insecure about or not trusting yourself about. Um, somebody may be trying to make you feel insecure. Somebody may be trying to gaslight you in some way. Okay, but you're going to be seeing synchronicities that confirm what you've already thought about when it comes to your intuition. Um, somebody may be codependent. You may be kicking this person out of your home or out of your life. But somebody could be being kicked out because the truth is being shown. And there's a feather. Something about feathers as well could be significant. All right. So what are the messages for the collective spirit? What is this about for my collective at this time? Seeing this now or later. What is it that they need to know? What messages are you trying to send to them about their situation? Ooh, my nose is itching. Somebody could also be hiding from you that they're insecure um, as well. You're starting to see confirmations of this. What are the messages? Okay, so there's an opportunity that you have in this situation or an opportunity that you are giving to someone else. This could be earth sign energy towards Virgo Capricorn. Ooh, yeah, but somebody may not want an opportunity because it may appear too confusing or there may be other options here. You don't want the three of cups. Whatever is being presented to you, you don't want the three of cups. You may not want third party situations. You may not want something casual or confusing or to be treated as an option in a situation. Somebody is ungrateful for an opportunity or they were ungrateful for an opportunity um, in the past. They may have been confused. You know, sometimes people get spirits confused. Because they've been dealing with a lot of fakers. Whoever this is, deal, the, whoever this is, may have been dealing with a lot of imposters, <clears throat> and they may not have been grateful for an opportunity, or appreciated an opportunity, or grasped an opportunity here, because they dealt with a lot of imposters. Whether this is you or someone else, but if you feel like a person treated you as an option or was not appreciative of your energy, um. 
it's because they dealt with a lot of fakers. They were confused or they just, you know, would rather be confusing. What's the Ace of Pentacles? You're the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Wands. So you're being faced with, okay. So you may be being faced with a challenge. You may be being faced with an opportunity. You may be being faced with an offer here being presented to you. It looks like there's a water sign communicating here about some type of opportunity. Um, you may be even just talking with your friends, family members about an opportunity because you're confused about maybe what the right decision is to make in a situation. There's communication coming in from a water sign. <clears throat> yeah, the Ace of Wands. This could be a job opportunity for a lot of you guys to do something that you're very um, passionate about. <clears throat> Jeez, but I'm my throat. You may feel like you're not sure how to answer or you don't know what to say. Or it's hard for you to communicate what it is that you want in a situation. Um, but there could be a new job coming through for some of you guys. Um, and it may be coming through very quickly. But it's a, an opportunity that's going to allow you to be very imaginative, very creative. Um, when it comes to what you're putting into your work, eight, eight could be significant. 88. Okay. Can I get one more card for this Ace of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups? <clears throat> and the Eight of Wands. This is like quick communication. There could be someone who is kind of like, uh, I don't know. They're very focused on you right now, but you may feel like they they lose focus or that they're going to lose focus because that's the way that they're approaching you. It could feel like a love bomber or somebody who could have the potential to possibly gaslight you in the future. And you may not be interested in whatever this person is saying or communicating with you. Um, yeah. Okay. Can I get one more card for this? Ace of Pentacles, please. Okay, let me shuffle. Y'all be sure to hit the like button. Thank you so much. Yeah, this person has played this game. This is like, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little game. It's like cat and mouse. Somebody's playing cat and mouse games with you. Can I get one more card, please, for this Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, somebody's playing. They, they want to push and pull and tug. I had to do all that shuffling and shuffle a certain way. Somebody may be very particular picky even about how things are done um this could be a cancer wanting to communicate with you about a job opportunity or maybe a love offer presenting you with some type of offer possibly for a date they may want to show you some type of attention this kind of feels like somebody who might be breadcrumbing might be gaslighting you um, they're coming in real fast, though, with this Eight of Wands and this Chariot card. It's either a fire sign or a cancer. Maybe even an earth sign, fire sign, or a cancer. Cancer with earth and fire in their chart. Possibly Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Maybe Leo. But I feel like somebody wants to celebrate. This could also be some of you celebrating with friends or family. Um, about a job opportunity that's coming in or some type of travel. This could be an opportunity to travel overseas or to travel to a different city, state, or zip code, depending on your situation. Um, and you want this to work out or the plans look like they're going to work out, okay? You want to jump on this opportunity. In the recent past, what happened in the recent past? The lover. So you guys definitely could have made a choice or someone made a choice here. There could be a Gemini energy, four of cups and the ten of wands. Yeah. A decision was very hard. Somebody said, I don't want to choose. It's too hard. Or I can't choose. It's too hard for me to choose. Um, what's the lovers? The ace of cups. Okay. A lot of emotions were poured into a situation. That's what made it hard for you to choose. This could be about your employment or your business or your career. 
Um, they're going to be some type of angel numbers to confirm. You're going to be seeing a lot of angel numbers to confirm you made the right choice. And it was a very hard choice because you did not want to choose between two people, between your relationship and your job, between two jobs, between your business and your career, whatever. There was a choice that you did not want to make because it was too hard. But you made a choice, I feel. And I feel like you're seeing the angel numbers or you're going to be seeing the angel numbers to confirm what this choice is and the fact that you did make the right choice. Um, also, there are going to be hidden truths exposed to you. Um, I feel like you guys learned in the recent past to follow your passions. You got the Ace of Wands coming out twice, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So you may be presented with an opportunity that's very uh, promising, that holds a lot of potential in your business, career, financial, earning power, whatever this is. Um, and it's just for you personally. And it's because you made a decision to follow your heart or because you made a decision to, you know, do what you're passionate about. And not do something that you don't want to do. I feel like you thought something was going to turn out worse than what it did. And it did not. It actually turned out exactly the way it needed to be. Justice. Okay. You could feel this way about this cancer. Okay. It may even be a, a Pisces or Scorpio for some of you guys. But strong cancer energy. Some of you may have divorced this person. Some of you may have separated from this person or some of you may be being silent uh, because it's the right thing to do. Or you feel like because of someone's silence, your actions are warranted or justified. Okay, whatever the situation is, you feel like it's fair and balanced or it is fair and balanced, whether you like it or not. Unfortunately, um, what's the lovers? Can I get one more for the lovers? The Page of Swords, that was at the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Wands. So it's like you're very closely observing the things that you love, the people that you love, um, learning about what you love, you know, maybe enjoying your own company. But it's like you're learning what makes you happy and you're deciding to learn more about following that course of living, okay? You definitely watched someone and observed someone over a long period of time. And I feel like even if it wasn't a long period of time, you just observed someone's actions and you did not want that three of cups. This three of cups keeps popping up in this card, the four of cups and the seven of cups. You did not want that three of cups. You did not want to be in a third party situation. I feel like you did not want to get your hopes up about a situation before it was time. You wanted to, you, you know, you wanted to manage your expectations with something. Um, but I feel like you're realizing that it's time for you to move on from a situation. There's something that was really, it was a hard choice you had to make, but you made it. And I feel like this opportunity is coming in because it was, it was unavoidable. Like you had to do something to move forward. You had to do something to let go of some type of discomfort or um, disapproval, not disapproval, but... It was like a distaste, disappointment, something diss. Maybe somebody tried to diss you or it was a, you felt like something was a diss or it was a disservice or something like that. And it was a hard choice, but it's like you had to do what you had to do to keep your peace. And I feel like to keep your sanity. Okay. I just saw the Ace of Swords. So there was clarity in the confusion. Because I feel like you were focused more on what you don't want. And if something was exhibiting too many traits about what you don't want and not enough about what you do want, you were like, okay, I got to make a choice. Because if I'm not getting what I want, then what, it, what in the fuck is the point? So even if you didn't know what decision to make, you knew what you didn't want. So you chose the opposite. Okay, what's in the near future for my collective here? Thank you. The magician. See what I'm saying? Didn't I say something about the magician? I did. Run it back. Y'all let me know in the comments. Did I say something about the magician? Because I feel like I did. And I feel like it was because of the things that you're choosing to focus on and the things that you're not choosing to focus on. There is going to be somebody coming towards you. 
Um, or there could be several people attracted to you at this time because of the energy that you're bringing in as above, so below. You're bringing the energy from your higher self, from your higher understanding, from your intuitive knowledge, from everything that you can foresee, knowing what you did not want, and you're attracting what you do want. So I feel like definitely there are things coming towards you because you are attracting, but I also feel like you are not really sticking on one thing or one person too long. I feel like you guys are in this like free spirited mode of like what you don't want to focus on. You're not. Some of you could be strong Gemini's. Some of you could be cancers. Okay. Maybe even Libra, Taurus, Virgo. What's this magician? Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, it's like you're devoting a lot of energy consistently long-term into manifesting whatever this is that you want. You're putting a lot of energy into it consistently, regularly. Um, you could be saving up, storing up. You could be saving money, okay? Or you need to save money. But yeah, it's like you're consistent. You're devoted to something and you're not allowing your devotion to falter. I feel like sometimes you may take breaks. But I feel like there's a long-term goal that you're trying to manifest and bring to fruition. Okay, what's this magician? Can I get one more, please? Thank you. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're putting a lot of consistent work into something that you want to be able to manifest for the long term. You're working really hard on something. You're about to accomplish one of your long-term goals. I don't know what it is, but in the near future, you're you're going to be accomplishing one of these long-term goals. I don't know what it is. You do. You're accomplishing it in the near future. Maybe the next 10 months. So by the time this time comes around next year. Then you will have accomplished this goal. The Wheel of Fortune. See what I'm saying? The Four of Wands. There's something that's shifting into place. So that you can accomplish this goal that you want. That you've been working towards. For a long period of time. The time is right for whatever this is. Um, some of you could be transitioning into um, a relationship or a job that you have manifested because you've you've basically rejected what it is that you don't want, which has showed the universe more clearly what you do want in a situation. Okay. Okay. Boom. Yeah, really strong Gemini energy, Cancer, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, maybe even Sagittarius. Okay, what is the advice spirit for the collective? What is the advice? Ooh, A appetite, get out of your comfort zone. Ooh. Yeah, so whatever this opportunity is, it could come in fast and you may have to use your imagination or be optimistic when you consider taking this opportunity, okay? Whatever that may mean for you, but I feel like you're grasping it and you're manifesting it and in the near future, you're gonna accomplish it. Rhoda Corsai says, remember your worth. And Citrine says, bring in the light. So remember what you're worth, but also be positive and keep a positive outlook. <clears throat> and if a situation is not living up to your standards, then the more clear you are in those times, the, the easier it'll be for the universe to allow the energy that you want to come in. All right. So thank you guys for being here. Really appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe, do all the things. Put your comments below, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.